This was the next level. Like, there's no topping this level. Like, this is it. I tried to do like one of those little. family they're probably one of my favorite brands to go see because my bff is actually there <laughs> every time i go to an event they hosting if it's there we literally latch onto each other and we laugh all day long it is so cute it's like the cutest thing to see but it actually feels good to be back in new york i'm not going to lie to you happy to be back home I was just here a couple of weeks ago to celebrate my friends Dorian's birthday and here I am again it's so crazy sometimes once I go somewhere and all of a sudden I get a lot of like events to go to the same place and I really really love the way he did his birthday so fun it was so good learning about the initiative they're taking to to be more sustainable you know recyclable and you know today's earth month it was just so fun yeah i'm gonna go home now i've got a couple of packages and i'm waiting for i think the farfetch one is being estimated to be delivered today which is my amina muadi shoes so i'm hoping i get home before hello guys i am back from the event of course we were always sent home with some goodies I love Luxitan. They're like one of my favorite brands for like body care. Um, especially the almond oil is like my favorite product from them. And I'm so happy to have the shower oil. I don't know, the French just have this thing about the shower oil. It's just like so nutritious for your skin. And I actually had um one that I purchased when I was there. It smells incredible. Since I still have it, I did open my suitcase, but I didn't like fully unpack everything usually i'm like you know about things like that like i have to unpack as soon as i get back home even though i wasn't necessarily in the mood but i still open the suitcase and remove everything it's just like things are just on the floor i have to put them back to the place last time i was in in france i got this one this is from Roger cavaille cavaille Roger cavaille this is this louis Le, uh, why am I speaking like this? Louis Ben Douche. So yeah, this one smells incredible. I just love it. That's what I take to travel with me. So now I'm so happy I have this one. I'm actually gonna save this one for traveling as well. Because what I don't know, when I travel, I love like a luxurious bath. And I love something that is a little bit moisturizing as well. 
I will be saving that one for traveling or um, and this is the backup which is amazing like can you imagine having a backup of this again you know like I feel like all the companies are you know trying to be sustainable which is pretty amazing because honestly sometimes after I am done finishing using these bottles and I hate throwing them out it actually hurts my heart to throw them out so I'm actually very 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 happy that you know a lot of companies are taking steps to be sustainable and this is the overnight reset serum I don't think I've used this before is it the same one? Oh, I've wanted to use this one. This is this one. I use the Emotel. The other one has also the Emotel flower in there. But I don't think I've ever used this one. So I'm excited to... Oh, okay. I'm excited to use this one tonight. What I usually do with like bottle stuff like this, I put it in a... Typically, I would put it in something like this. So that way to avoid any spilling. I, I know there's something they sell on Amazon to avoid spilling it's like a i don't know what it is to wrap the head but i don't feel like buying an extra product i just feel like just buying like a ziploc it's just enough this should last me i think two more trips it depends on how long i'm gonna be gone but i will be i'm gonna go on a staycation in a couple of weeks since it's gonna be home so it's gonna be amazing you know oh there's like so many opportunities coming my way this year and I'm very very excited uh, to me getting a breast reduction and finally feeling like myself and just like feeling good in my body although today I woke up I almost had like the scares I got on the on, I got on the scale and I was just like it weighed 130 pounds I've never been 130 pounds the most that I've been maybe 120 but for some reason I used to feel so much more uncomfortable in my body before and that's because when I used to be at those weights, you can imagine how much bigger my you know, chest used to be. So that's why I used to be so uncomfortable back then. If I gained like anything over 118 pounds, like I just felt so uncomfortable in my body. But now, even though these are like a little bit too big, but once I lose the weight, it's gonna get smaller. So I don't have to worry about that. So this actually makes me so happy that um that now even though it, i can get a little bit of weight it's not gonna like make me look crazy so i appreciate that so if i was 130 pounds so li literally i need to lose 20 pounds because 110 100 uh, 115 i would say it's like my ideal weight um anything below 110 is like too small for me it's just a struggle so i do not want to be anything under 110 so 110 is probably the smallest i'd like to be but ideally like 115 it's like my ideal weight yeah anything between 110 to 120 it's like my my ideal weight it's just like perfect i feel so good in my body i feel so good in my skin my clothes fits me well I, yeah everything just like fits me well like that so i just feel really really amazing but the reason why i don't feel more uncomfortable than I would have it's because of my breast reduction so again even though now they are bigger than I would like them to be but that's because I did gain over almost close to like yeah 20 30 pounds which is a little bit crazy but it's okay though I'm gonna lose it soon and it's just gonna fall over me and I'm gonna go back to my regular weight once I lower my stress level lower my cortisol you know balance out my hormones which I've already started doing I think it's been like three weeks now or maybe a month since I've been eating breakfast you know like a high protein breakfast in the morning and trying to get to bed like going to bed at like 10 or 9 30 would be ideal actually that's like the last one that I'm working on other than that I've been doing my walking yesterday I did 15,000 steps I haven't done that much today which is a shame oh today I only did 765 I want to go for a walk but I can't go because I'm waiting for a package but once my package comes here like I'm gonna go for a walk. I'm gonna try to get at least 5,000. If I get half, I'll be happy. The day before I did 15,000, yesterday I did 15,000. So honestly, it's amazing to me. Oh wow, my things are keep loading now. Oh shoot, I'm in the wrong phone. So I've already done 1,200 steps today. Okay, amazing. Ooh, last night I did seven hours, seven hours and 32 minutes of sleep. So ideally I'd like to get nine hours of sleep. So we will see if I can get that. 
I'll see you guys. Also, I came back to my Amazon order delivered, which are the extensions. I am very excited. I was supposed to do the hair color since Monday and have my hair ready to try the extension. I'm actually very disappointed in myself that I wasn't ready, but I came back, you know, from a trip. So give me a little break here. But this is what they look like. So I got a 16 inch and a 20 inch. Which one is that? This is the 20 inch. Ooh, the 20 looks a little bit short, but we are gonna see, we are gonna see. Hopefully, so this has four clips, I believe. Yeah, this comes with four clips. This is going to be, okay, it's long enough. I mean, this hair looks good, I'm not gonna lie, but it could look a little bit better. I feel like in photos, it looks horrible. In the vlog, it doesn't look so bad. But when I tell you in photos, <clears throat> it just does not translate. It's like, it's horrible. Like, it's so horrible. Like, I cannot tell you. This is the brand name Sue Exquisite Hair. But Smashbox sent me something. They sent me, I was running low, so this is really amazing. So they sent me the primers. So I have Illuminate, the glow primer. My makeup is looking really good. Matting frame primer. I think mostly the one that I'm going to be using <clears throat> is the Glow Illuminate and the Hydrating. You guys know me. I love freaking hydration so much. And of course, I love the I love the original. The original is just amazing. This is my favorite also like eyeshadow primer. I've been using it for the past five years. Smooth and blur. And then anti-redness. I don't have redness issues. All right, guys. I'm ready to go on my hardcore walk. Trying to see if I can complete, you know, at least 8,000 steps today. The goal is always 10K. It is misty outside. So I thought before I eat, let me just have this. I need to dye my hair tonight because today I did all this work, right? Getting distracted. I did all this work to get my closet together. And guess what happened? <clears throat> My thing, my rod is too heavy. Now my closet is falling down. And I'm just, you know, I'm just like, you know what? It, everything happens for a reason. So this is probably what's going to get me to, to get the IKEA closet together because I need it so badly. I don't have the space, you know, like my bedroom is looking messy because of that. So I really, really need to get that together. This is probably what it is. This is a push for me to get my closet set up so i will be going to ikea although i don't like to go in there it's just like too overwhelming i just prefer like order the stuff online but sometimes it's really really hard to see what you're ordering but last time i did mine online but i feel like it's increasingly more difficult these days bonjour guys this is my brekkie for today i did my morning walk it is a little bit later though but you know what this week i'm just allowing myself to just be chill you know it's my birthday week so i'm just you know i'm taking it easy next week you know i will get back to work back to normal you know figure out my schedule and things like that this is brecky only do this for the video and then now i'm ready to to take it on the table to eat i don't eat on here anymore <laughs> guys it is much later now and my mission to finally wear my natural hair you know with the added extension completely failed me i am so delusional thinking that at the first try i was gonna get my hair silky smooth instead i burned the back of my head i know i know it did not go as planned but today i did do a no makeup makeup and look how glowy i'm looking right here I think I like it. Well, I don't know. When it's uploaded, then I will know what it's looking like. Because sometimes what I'm seeing back, it's not always, you know, the final thing. When I upload it, that's when I see, like, how everything looks. But from what I'm looking like, my makeup is looking so natural, so good. So I did no makeup, no foundation. I just used the Chanel water tint. Oh, I found a picture of my mom when she was young. This is my mom when she was young look at the stunner like do you like so beautiful ah my mom was just so stunning All right, guys ready for a billionaire's robe and this is what i'm wearing i'm going to like a scent tasting this is my outfit it's been really challenging for me getting dressed for events and stuff like that since my weight gain um 
I just don't feel comfortable in my old clothes so now it's just proving a little bit difficult and also because of my closet situation I have no idea what I have in my wardrobe and what I don't so this is a look I can always count these days on a blazer and jeans I'm doing the YSL because I'm doing YSL bag not because of that I just want to be taller today and these shoes are like super tall which you can't see now I really really need the shoes in black looking back now I think I wish I would have gotten them in black um, I do love the red it's different but the black would have been banging honestly and I wouldn't have well I don't have any issue getting you know like dressing them up or anything like that but it's just the red would have been perfection but let's go now this is my outfit they're sending me a car they say we'll be here in five minutes but um, let's get downstairs. My makeup is looking really good in camera, even though in real life I feel like it's too heavy. But it is what it is, right? Mm -hmm. Which we get from Brazil. It's all sourced, especially from Mafi. Mm -hmm. Inside the boutique, you'll see the marble has 18 karat gold, which is obsidian uh, marble. Mm -hmm. Wow. And then you'll see the chandeliers. Especially the cake tea chandelier, which all custom made from Mafi from Portugal. We have our beautiful lacquer tables, especially when the fragrance is being sprayed on them. Mm -hmm. uh, as it was already said, the boutique inspiration is from Monaco. And in order to celebrate that, we also have a casino collection. This is for men's right here. You have uh, one of the highlights is Place Your Bets right here, which is featured in the Louvre Museum in France for mm. its glassware. And as we move along, we have our most regal of the our royal collection. So here we have the men's, which is the scepter, and the women's, which is the orb right here. Mm -hmm. And they feature uh, many interesting features, like um, Sarbosky crystals and gilding, but I'll leave it up to Jeff Mirror to kind of embellish. They look like Fabergé eggs. St oh, stunning. So cool. Wow. And how many crystals, Gabriel, are there? So there's 2,026 in the women's. On each, on, on each? This, so there's a, 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 a female version for women, and then there's a scepter version for men. <sighs> so Amafi is really into, you know, having a dedicated women's scent and men's scent. So you won't really talk about them saying their fragrances are shared. I mean, of course, anybody can buy anything, but the point is they really want to highlight a female fragrance and a male fragrance. Mm -hmm. So here, um, that's what you're seeing, and they look so pretty on vanity. So beautiful. Very classical. Piece of art. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh my god, this bottle. It's a yeah, they're very, the scents feel very Colombian. You'll, you'll smell them. To die they're for. Definitely my favorite. The yeah. <laughs> yeah, this one is. Why is that? Is it the it's color the or is smell. it? No, mm. I mean, I love the bottle, but it's just, it's like intoxicating. Mm. And it feels just like a fresh breeze, you know, like you're down in the Caribbean. Oh my goodness. It's kind of destination to them. So we have yeah. that sound for you. So. Mm. I like that. We have our candle set right here, which is, um, you know, the sounds of witches, model doctor, and the that's a collection of clips. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. But were there any of them that caught your eye that you were excited to smell? Um, Tis of a Sinner. Okay. Let's <laughs> just cut it. Right. 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 Tis of a Sinner is on the list. Um, what type of fragrances do you gravitate towards? It's nice, right? It's so nice. How does it make you feel? Sexy. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's alright, yeah. <laughs> 
crystals that were all inlaid by hand. The orb opens and then the perfume bottle is inside. Which this is a matte glass bottle and it's embossed with the famous Fleur de Lis, which is the flower of the kings. And then for the scepter, we have the same enameling as the orb. This is inlaid with over 300 Swarovski crystal as well as a large zircone on the inside that matches the color of the enameling. And like a surprise! <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'll take that Easter egg any right? day. <laughs> wow, I, that's where I put my egg, inside there. And oh, then the God. inside is lined with English velvet. Um, the orb itself is a metallic orb and they are coated with 22 carats. Rich velvet on the inside as well as the Amalfi logo and then for the bottle itself it's in the shape of the most expensive diamond with its many facets wow. you can see there's the speech that um, King Edward gave to the people of England is depicted in the box that is hand painted with natural gold paint in the front and then the cap on the inside is ingrained with happiness is being together. Mm -hmm. The fleur de lis. Mm -hmm. This is gorgeous. Oh, that's beautiful. So, yeah, like we said, we have a specific way. We like to get the warm parts on the bottom. Just like your wrist right here. <laughs> <laughs> This was next level, like there's no topping this level, like this is it. I mean, you can tell me otherwise if you are one of those like niche fragrance, as I was saying. But this was the top of the top, like if you truly want to experience like, what it's like. I mean, the fragrance place is a billion years well. So you can only imagine what you can expect. When I tell you this was an experience, I cannot wait to take my partner there for like this experience. This was lovely. And I cannot wait to buy a scent myself. Um, I would highly recommend Tears of a Center. I think that's a scent everyone would love. So I ended up getting sprayed with Warrior Love Story. So that scent is inspired by Edward VIII, who, the throne for Wallace Simpson, who's an American actress. So, I mean, we all know about that story. It is inspired by that. And on the bottle, they have the speech that he did the day um, it happened. So it was such a special experience. I don't think I've ever experienced anything like this. Like this was just beyond be on good morning guys happy saturdays typically i don't take you guys along with me when i go to my hot girl walks but i thought today i will you know take you along with me because on saturdays we do things a little bit different usually during the week i just do um like on my avenue i go all the way down to the upper east side and stuff like that which is like a 20 minute walk for me so i'll do that but on saturdays things are different on saturday i walk to whole foods instead because whole foods is a 20 minute walk for me so on saturdays it makes the perfect sense because by then i would have just been done with my 
ingredients for the week when I make my breakfast every morning. So I should have made a list, but I didn't. Um, so which is what I do. On Saturdays, I walk to, to Whole Foods. So it's like I get my steps in and then I get my groceries as well. I tend not to get stuff that are heavy because I don't want to have to take an Uber back because then I can't continue the whole step. I love walking to Whole Foods because walking to Whole Foods and back give me over 5,000 steps, which is amazing. That means I'm already halfway there, um, which is why I love doing it on Saturdays and stuff. But yeah, that's a little thing for you guys to come along with me on my walk and hopefully you could do the same on Saturdays. You could walk to your grocery store or do something similar like something that you need to do so you might as well include it into your walk but I still have to go to Sittipani which is uh, the Italian restaurant to get croissant because the croissants are whole foods they're not good they feel like store-bought I mean I know it's coming from a store but from whole foods I expected more I expected them to be a little bit fresher but sadly they're not I prefer um, getting them from a restaurant even though my favorite is a coffee shop off the train um, down there but because the Japan is in like kind of like similar street as me it's convenient I'll just get it there uh, because for the rest of the week I get it from the other place anyways so I'll make uh, an exception for today and today I might make uh, a breakfast sandwich I really love the breakfast sandwich even though I much prefer the croissant because it's so much easier and lighter to digest it's just like I don't feel like I'm eating bread so I like that let's go to Whole Foods Alright guys, I am back from my walk obviously as you can see I've just made the cutest breakfast sandwich I even have basil on top which is like ridiculous for me But um, seriously like this is so good It's so funny I used to go from never eating breakfast to now Eating breakfast is probably the thing that I look forward to every day And it's amazing now I barely eat like three meals anymore because my breakfast is so filling, I don't get hungry until much later during the day. And by the time I have lunch, it's just like I can't even have dinner. Alright guys, I'm cooking. It's about 8.47. It's pretty late, but I did wake up super late. 
and also I just really want to like up my green antics if I'm honest with you because one thing that I need to include more in my diet is fiber so I really 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 need to like increase my fiber and all that stuff and really 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 get my system working already is harder dealing you know with that sort of stuff so one thing that I'm trying to do is really 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 getting my fiber intake really 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 high okay guys let's test this out and see how this tastes I'm gonna see if the soy sauce and oh yeah really good I could have left it in there a little bit longer but this is really good this is so incredible